And welcome to Majors TV uh, today we'll be looking at uh, former Cape Town City winger Benny Over Hagan who has uh, been accused of uh, being a fake footballer has been arrested in Denmark shortly after being released by a fifth club this year. Yeah, so Verhagen, uh, 25 years old, uh, was released uh, from a fifth club this year after reports surfaced uh, in Dan Danish uh, media of his alleged uh, fake professional football persona. Yeah, it's rare uh, a second division player to dominate headlines in any country, but the story of uh, the Dutch the Dutch uh, Suriname uh, footballer has sparked a uh, widespread uh, interest after his contract with uh, Vibog FF was cancelled after just one week. According uh, to Danish Danish publication DR, the club was uh, duped into signing the player after a fake recommendation from Ajax and Arsenal legend Mark Overmas. While he, his alleged agent was said to be part of the same company that represents Real Madrid superstar Gareth Bale. While Verhagen has denied all, all the reports in the Danish media since his record suggests that at his age of 25 he's failed to register a single professional appearance over his career. Since leaving a uh, Dutch amateur side SC Den Dangen in January. According to Vice, several of the clubs he, he suggested he spent time with uh, no, we have no recollection of the player and have dismissed his claims. Having been confirmed as citizens uh, player during the ABSA Premiership off season on their official Twitter account and the post uh, since deleted attempts have been made to reach club owner John committees. However, uh, the former Ajax uh, Cape Town CEO was unavailable for comment at the time of publishing. Now, after coming under immense scrutiny uh, with several allegations of fraud led against the Verhagen, uh, BT has now reported that he's been arrested and will appear in court. So it is believed that the controversial uh, figure was arrested on Tuesday afternoon and is facing charges of robbery of a customer at a store outside the Vibog uh, railway station. So meanwhile, our Central and West Jutland police have also confirmed that the Danish club have filed a case of fraud against the nomadic footballer. When contacted, the Dutch National Federation, KNVB, said that Verhagen was a youth player at Willem II, a first division Dutch club for one year in 2009. Uh, since then, he had been registered at three other Dutch amateur clubs. So even though uh, KNVB is supposed to know when a Dutch player is transferred to an international club for the first time, there is no record of him ever going abroad. Yeah, so according to the most recent KNVB records, Verhagen was registered at the Dutch club Den Dangen until this year. One I, I called uh, their scout uh, Marcel Kriaken said who said that Verhagen played about four games and didn't really stand out. He also noted he was very uh, pleasant to be around, but he didn't understand why professional clubs kept signing him. Yeah, so that news was from uh, vice.com. A uh, shout out to uh, vice.com. Cape Town uh, City FC's uh, spokesperson Julian Bailey uh, said uh, Verhagen came to them uh, through an agent who was a strong link with uh, the club but told me he didn't know the agent's name. So he said that, that before Verhagen arrived, they saw a video of him playing. The head of the club uh, liked what he saw, so we we offered him a contract. But when Verhagen got to Cape Town City, he wasn't in shape and had trained by himself. 
On the 26th of uh, November, Vibog FF announced it had terminated his contract one day later. Verhagen was arrested in Denmark on suspicion of assaulting and robbing multiple people, including Nayaret Mochi, and was uh, charged with fraud on December 3rd. Uh, it seems the unlikely success story of a player who never spent a minute on the field has come to an end. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been uh, Major Host TV. Uh, watch out for the next uh, video and yeah, subscribe to this channel and like and share with your friends. Thank you.